Hi, Ron here again. Welcome to the next in our series of videos to introduce products that are part of Java Caps. In this session, we're going to introduce the eInsight Business Process Manager. If you're not familiar with the concepts and products listed in the earlier videos on screen, I'd encourage you to visit those first. Moving up to composite application layers, we now find our, composite, our composed business services layer. And the title of this slide reminds us we want to talk about the eInsight Business Process Manager. The callout tells us that the eInsight Business Process Manager sits on top of eGate to enable process-driven integration. What that means is we're going to model our composite apps as business processes with their discrete steps or activities as we refer to them, each invoking a service. In an earlier module, we learned that we're going to use Business Process Execution Language, or BPEL, to describe for the orchestration engine how, when, and under what conditions to invoke each of these steps, and any interim logic that may need to be executed between those steps. The Insight Business Process Modeler is going to allow us to build our processes graphically by dragging model elements from the toolbar onto a canvas, where we can connect and configure each of the steps in the process. Behind the scenes, the modeler is going to be generating BPEL to support execution of that process. At runtime, the eInsight orchestration engine is going to interpret that BPEL code and manage the execution of the business process. It's also going to support other functionality that we'll visit in a later module, including providing persistence of data associated with each instance of the process that it orchestrates. That persistence will enable monitoring for us. We're going to be able to see graphically where any instance of data is. It's also going to give us recovery capabilities so that we can ensure a a high quality of service. Here's a quick peek at the Business Process Designer. In the top half of the screenshot we see the Business Process Model, the result of the tools we've dragged, dropped, and connected. In the bottom half we see the corresponding BPEL code or orchestration script that was automatically generated by creation of our graphical model. That's all we have time for in this module. Here's a chance to review your understanding of the eInsight product. If you want, you can pause the video now and review these concepts. As always, I thank you for your time and attention. I invite you to view the next module in the sequence where we'll take our first look at the eVision Studio. To learn more about our instructor-led training, visit the URLs listed on screen. Registration in our public courses is available from that site. In the U.S., on-site training for your team can be arranged by emailing Terry Brewster at the address listed. Thanks. Have a great day.